Draeger worked towards making our roads safer by reducing the risks associated with drink driving. The following video will show you how to operate the Draeger Interlock 7000 once it's fitted to your vehicle. Be sure to pay attention so that you understand how the Interlock 7000 works. An alcohol interlock is an alcohol breath testing device that is wired to the ignition system of your vehicle. It prevents a person under the influence of alcohol from starting the vehicle. If the Draeger Interlock 7000 detects the presence of alcohol, it will prevent you from starting your vehicle. The Draeger Interlock 7000 records all alcohol readings and engine starts. Alcohol levels in your body can continue to rise for up to two hours after your last drink. It can take a number of hours for your body to return to a zero reading, especially after large volumes have been consumed. If you drink late at night, you may not be able to start your vehicle in the morning, as the alcohol may still be in your system. Your mouth holds residual alcohol for up to 15 minutes after your last drink. It's important that you wait 15 minutes prior to testing. The Draeger Interlock 7000 can differentiate between mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. In case mouth alcohol is detected from food or drink, the message Interferent Detected Repeat Test will appear. If mouth alcohol is detected, the device will automatically reset for a new test with no lockout time and without this being considered a violation of the program. Ensure to keep a bottle of water with you and rinse your mouth out before using the Interlock 7000. Do's and don'ts. Do keep the unit clean and dry at all times. Do use a clean, dry mouthpiece when providing breath samples. Do contact your service agent with any questions or concerns. Do store the Interlock 7000 in a safe place. You can disconnect the handset once the vehicle is off and store it in the glove box to protect it from direct sunlight or being stolen. Do provide the breath test from the driver's seat in order for the test to be accepted. Don't eat, smoke, consume alcohol or use alcohol-based products such as mouthwash or foods containing yeast for 15 minutes before using the Interlock 7000. Don't place the Interlock 7000 device on the vehicle floor. If the device is not secured, it may interfere with the pedals and the safe operation of the vehicle. Don't use the Interlock 7000 whilst driving, as this will be seen as a breach. If you are asked for a breath test whilst driving, pull over and present the breath test. Don't turn the vehicle off. Don't tamper with, abuse or misuse the Interlock 7000 device. There may be legal consequences that arise from this. Remember, you will need to wait 15 minutes after drinking, eating or smoking before you use the Interlock 7000. To activate the handset, place your vehicle key in the ignition and turn to the ON position. The Interlock 7000 will instantly warm up and the handset will display Ready for test, please blow. Also, the blue LED on the top of the handset will flash. To give a breath sample, you will use what is known as the blow and suck technique. Once you are ready to start, take a deep breath and place your lips over the mouthpiece, providing a steady blow, exhaling normally. If a camera is required, please look into the camera whilst providing the test to ensure a valid image is recorded. As you blow into the Interlock 7000, you will hear a continuous tone. Continue as this indicates you are blowing correctly. Once the tone stops, you will hear three clicks. This indicates you must suck back until the device beeps. Do not stop between the blow and suck. If you provide a satisfactory test, the screen will display test passed and you can start your vehicle. The handset will then display drive safely. If alcohol is detected, the display will show test failed. If you fail a test, the system will record a violation and prevent you from starting your vehicle. The red LED on the top of the handset will flash and the Interlock 7000 will sound. The vehicle will not start and a temporary lockout will be activated. A countdown on the display will show the amount of time remaining before another breath test can be presented. Once the temporary lockout time has expired, turn your ignition to the on position, then the device will prepare for another test. The blue light will flash and the handset will display, ready for test, please blow. If mouth alcohol is detected, the screen will display, interferent detected, repeat test, if you wish to turn your ignition on to use the air conditioner, turn on the radio or put the window down but have no intention to drive, you don't need to take the test and no violation will be recorded. If you give an incorrect sample, the Interlock 7000 will beep and a red LED will flash. 
Press OK and the display will show, ready for test, please blow. Depending on what type of error, the Interlock 7000 will display various messages. Blow longer, repeat test. This means the breath sample was too short. Press OK to start the breath test again, making sure you blow long enough. Suck after blow, repeat test. The suck back was incorrect. Press OK to start the breath test again. The suck back must be short, sharp and directly after the blow. Please note, these types of messages are not violations, they are simply error messages. The Interlock 7000 will require rolling retests. This is to ensure you are alcohol free whilst driving. You must give additional breath tests at random intervals, possibly several times before you turn your vehicle off. When the Interlock 7000 prompts for a retest, you will hear a beep and a blue light will flash. The Interlock will display, retest required, please blow. You are responsible for the safe operation of your vehicle. It's recommended that you pull over to the side when it's safe to do so, away from traffic. You must leave the engine running whilst you present the rolling retest. If you don't hear the retest prompt, the Interlock 7000 buzzer will start continuously to alert you that a retest is required. If you don't take the retest within the provided time, the Interlock 7000 handset will display retest violation. The interlock buzzer will beep continuously, the vehicle's horn will repeatedly honk, and the vehicle's hazard lights will continuously flash. You must pull over when safe to do so and turn the vehicle off in order to deactivate the horns and lights. The interlock 7000 will be in a temporary lockout and the countdown timer will display on the handset. You won't be able to start the vehicle again until the temporary lockout period has expired. Once the device requests a retest, you must take the retest. If you switch the vehicle off whilst the device is asking for a retest, the vehicle's horn will sound once to remind you that a retest is required. A violation will be recorded if you ignore or don't take the retest in the time specified. It's important you always check the display before getting out of the vehicle to avoid unnecessary violations. If a violation reset occurs, the Interlock 7000 is programmed to require an earlier service. You must contact your service agent for a violation reset within seven days. Each day the handset will display the number of days until lockout. On the seventh day, the Interlock 7000 will display device lockout today. The Interlock 7000 will lock out at midnight that same day. You should contact your service agent as soon as possible to arrange a time to take the vehicle with the interlock fitted for a reset. As set in the legislation, the Interlock 7000 must be serviced regularly. A service includes check of the wiring and connections, download of all data including any violations that have occurred, maintenance and inspection of the device for tampering, calibration of the Interlock 7000 every four to five months and to schedule your next appointment. Your scheduled services will be set to the day of the installation called the anniversary date. For example, if the Interlock 7000 is installed on the 23rd of January, you will be required to have the Interlock 7000 serviced on or around the 23rd of each service period. The handset will display the number of days until a service is required. On the day your service is due, your Interlock will display Service Required Today. You will see these messages each time you turn your ignition on to begin an initial test. If you see this message, you should call your service agent to make an appointment. After the day your service is due, you have seven days grace period. It is not recommended to ignore service warnings once you have reached this period. Otherwise, you are at risk of having a device lockout. On the last day of your seven day grace period, your handset will display device lockout today. This means the device will lock you out at midnight. You must have the device serviced that day or else you'll be required to have your vehicle towed to the nearest service center or request a service unlock code. Both options are at your own expense. The Draeger Interlock 7000 will display device lockout and the vehicle will be permanently locked out. You will need to contact your service agent to arrange an appointment. Lockout may be caused by having too many violations within the service period or not attending your scheduled service. Thank you for choosing the Draeger Interlock 7000. We hope you have understood the functionality of the Draeger Interlock 7000 and the service requirements. If you have any further questions or concerns, please ask your service agent as they will provide you with assistance during your Draeger Interlock 7000 program time.